The title of today's workshop is Working Together for Better Outcomes, Mehel in Practice. There are six networks uh, in Dublin North City. So there's one in Finglas, in Cabra, in Ballymun, in Dublin Bay, the Northwest Inner City and the Northeast Inner City. Mehel is about people working together and it's about us all taking our piece of the responsibility to ensure that where children and families need support, that they get that support and that they get it quickly. So today is about bringing people together and really listening to the story so far. families sometimes the mention of a social worker can be very very threatening and that Mehel is a way to actually kind of allay those fears that you know it's a community response it's agencies that know the family and sometimes don't know the family coming together to give the the the, the best possible outcome for the children. I think what's really important in the mental process is that the parents actually have a huge amount to say in it. They decide what they want to do, how far they want it to go, but also the voice of the child is really, really important. I do think that the structure and the format of Mahal is good because it means when you walk into a parent's house and you meet somebody first, you get to talk to them about the, the way the meetings take place, what forms, the fact that it's a completely transparent process and that any paperwork that's completely or written about them, they'll have a copy of everything. And I think that's really important and I think it's really empowering for families to feel that they're actually leading the way and that their opinion is what guides the whole mental process. Well, I heard about Mel through a friend of mine um, and I done some research then to find out what the next step I could take to get involved in this and to get the help that we needed as a family. We were struggling. Um, what was good about it was that we um, got everybody around the table who was involved in my son's life and came up with plans to help him and also to get support for us as a family. Since we became involved with Mel and stayed in contact with all the other support links, it was through the summer where we had to make a really rash decision to transli transition him from mainstream into a special needs school and to say I, could, I felt I was fighting the world is not even enough to explain it. Paul had made calls, sent emails on a daily basis and constantly kept in contact but back with myself. Um, to be honest, our whole world would have fell apart. Definitely would recommend and have recommended Mel to other people. Ryan has uh, some learning difficulties. So, you know, he found the, the transition secondary school very hard. And um, I found dealing with new teachers then really difficult. I felt very intimidated by having to go to the school and having to speak to the support teachers and principals and vice principals. It was yourself that helped me and made me the, told me where to go for the right appointments right. and who to ask for. So I found that so helpful. I found like I always had someone to have me back. You know, if I, if I wasn't sure, I had somebody that I could turn to and say, well, what do you think? My child was uh, being bullied in school and um, I kept getting onto the school and they weren't doing anything about it. And uh, she was in the MYP1 club in uh, Summerhill and uh, they introduced me to the Metal uh, program. Uh, they were a great support, uh, brilliant. Um, I recommended it like uh, yourself um, to other women. Again, I would hope that ordinary parents, and not just professionals in the field of childcare, would be able to access Mehel's abilities in getting the right team together to help the child. It was very comforting to both my daughter and myself to realise that we weren't alone, and that this team had only her well-being in mind and would do all they could to help us.
you know, it's important, um, you know, from a, a parent point of view that you're part of the solution, you know, that you are, not only your voice is heard, but it's also taken into account, you know, in terms of uh, finding a solution to, you know, the issues. The stuff that came up with us, um, some of our experiences was, there still is a lot of automatic fear when you approach a family from Mehel that it automatically is social work and are my, are my children going to be uh, t uh, taken away. So a way to address this, we were saying, is um, a more public awareness. It should be a, a coffee morning conversation that parents are talking about Mehel, their experience of it, and that will promote Mehel. Some of the challenges we know um, around lead practitioners and the number of people that we've trained becoming lead practitioners. Um, how do we find capacity and time within those services to actually become lead practitioners? That's one of our biggest challenges. A very major concern came up was schools that schools need to be linked in, need to be better informed, need to be better engaged. That if that's not the case, it'll make, it'll disable some of the mehels. And that schools need to see the mehel as a useful resource, but they need to be more proactive in it. Waiting lists as well can be a challenge. So for a range of services, um, especially early intervention, um, types of therapeutic, um, services that there's long waiting lists and uh, you know children and families are left in limbo uh, which is a real challenge. Um, I, I'm very struck by the really heartfelt stories that people shared and had the courage to share here and the impact uh, that Mehel made in their lives and I suppose this morning really brought home to me the importance of a forum like this so that your voices, your experiences, your recommendations are have a chance to be heard and aired. Today I thought was really, really positive. It was great to hear everybody's different feedbacks and different experiences on how they got on and how they all differed. Everybody's family life is different and their experience and situations is different, but yet they all had a positive outcome at the end. It was really good to hear. Whether it's from primary school to teenage, like this point was made, there is help, there is hope still for a 17 year old. You know, I would feel there's still great hope with Mehel because there is services out there that people don't even know about. But we'll bring call in a Mehel, you'll find out there's all this that can be going on. Um, it was very interesting to be here at the conference today to see parents' experiences of the Mehel process and also other agencies' experiences. Um, for myself, I've been on, involved in several Mehel processes, so it's um, definitely kind of interesting to hear different viewpoints. I was glad that I was invited here today because I felt like I'm part of something you know, of, of metal. Um, there was great positives like that, of families that got metal and like succeeded and they all followed through the end. Like, you know, it was good hearing positive stories. The workshop today went really well. Uh, we had great attendance. We had people from all over um, the North City. Uh, people from Finglas, Cabra, Ballymun, Dublin Bay, North Eastern City, North Western City, so it was great, great attendance and fantastic participation. Um, a lot of really positive things um, that came up, um, particularly from parents. And I think the challenge for us now, for Tuzla and for the Child and Family Network coordinators, is to ensure that what people are saying and the ideas that they have for moving forward and making this a better process that those ideas and those challenges are taken on.